up everyone z karma here and welcome back to another borderlands 3 video so today i'm going to show you guys this tdr build of course i was absolutely destroying everything so you can destroy everything as well this is probably still the best boss farming build especially on main 4 where enemies have so much health and as you can see i was just absolutely destroying them and the best thing about this build is that you can use it on any character so before we get into this build, YouTube told me that 90% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you are not subscribed right now and you do enjoy the videos that I make, the content that I make, I would appreciate if you guys can hit that sub button and like the video for me. It would mean the world to me. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to tell you the basic things that you need for this build. You need these shotguns. They're very specific. Don't worry about the anointment. I just have that anointment on all three. Fire, shock, and corrosive. Those are the main weapons that you want. And you also want a face puncher. The reason why you want a face puncher is because you're going to be using this deathless artifact. This cut purse artifact, actually. Dealing melee damage replenishes your ammo. When you're throwing these shotguns, you run out of ammo so quickly that you're going to need this cut purse artifact so you can replenish your shotgun ammo with this face puncher. So this shotgun does melee damage and for every pellet it counts as a melee attack. So as long as you hit an enemy dead center, you're going to get max shotgun ammo replenished. So another thing that you need for this build is a transformer. Now the reason for that is because as you guys know, the transformer converts all shock damage into shields. So if you are close to dying, you just throw one of these shock damage weapons to the ground and you can save yourself. So now let me go ahead and show you the specific parts about this weapon. You're going to want to have this accessory. When thrown, the weapon will spawn multiple child projectiles when it explodes. And this one, homing module. When thrown, the weapon will home in on nearby enemies. Now, as you can see with this one, if you saw by the gameplay, there was a lot of little grenades flying around after I hit the enemy. Well, with this one, they're going to be homing, so... You don't even have to aim with these weapons in order to hit your targets. Now, the grenade doesn't really matter what you have, and the class mod, I suggest you take something that increases elemental damage, or maybe even increases splash damage on one of the little skills down here. Anything that's going to give you grenade damage, shotgun damage, like for example, I have 31% shotgun damage on this one, flash damage, all of that, you want to take that. Okay, now let's take a look at the skill tree, and the skill tree doesn't really matter that much as long as you don't run skills like Infusion or Forceful Expression, because those can get you killed. Because if you're going to replenish your Transformer with this weapon, if you have Infusion and you have, let's say, this as your action skill element, Incendiary, you're going to end up downing yourself. Another thing I forgot to mention, make sure the Cut Purse is also Deathless. Because what that's going to do is I'm not going to have any health. I'm just going to have one health and my shield is going to have 100% capacity. So as you can see, I have 23,000 shields. So if I'm down to like 10 shields, I can just do this and I'm instantly back to full shields. So definitely take the deathless version of the cut purse if possible. Now for the skills, you want to take anything that's going to increase your magazine size as well as the artifact. I keep forgetting that. Artifact, you see 40% magazine size, 30% grenade damage, 33% area of effect damage. This is actually perfect for this build. 40% magazine size, the bigger the magazine, the more damage the TDR chucks do. So you want to take that and you got to focus on that on the skills as well. You want to focus elemental damage, which is why I went with these two. You have to focus deep well, magazine size, 
Don't go in fusion or you're going to down yourself. As you can see, I got here, arms deal, increased splash damage and takes reduced splash damage. I got mindfulness just because I'm running a spiritual driver. So I'm running around Giga Mind or whatever. I'm going to do more damage and more gun damage here. Fire rate and reload speed. The faster your reload speed, as you can see, I have reload speed here too. The faster the reload speed, the faster you throw the TDR chucks. So anyways, guys, that's basically the build. Uh, you can run it on any character as long as you don't pick skills that are accidentally going to get you killed. But anyways, guys, if you guys found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, please help me out by hitting that like button and subscribing for more content. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.